Hi, many kids like to ask me questions. And when I go to a school, I sometimes I'm confronted with questions which I can't answer. And one of the questions is, what's your favorite book? It's like asking a parent who has 300 kids who's his favorite kid. If he told you the name of his favorite, even if he had one, his other books would attack him and kill me. So I can't tell you the name of my favorite book, but I'm sneakily, sneakily gonna tell you one of my favorites. And one of my favorites is the book I'm gonna to read today. And the book is called Wolves. And I think one of the reasons that Wolves is one of my favorite books is because I love dogs. And this wolf looks so much like a dog. So let me begin reading one of my favorite books, the book on wolves. And let me show you the first picture across from the first part of the text. Imagine snow falling silently in the great woodlands of North America. The only sounds are from the trees creaking and tossing in the wind. Suddenly, the quiet is broken by the eerie howling of a wolf and all the frightening stories and legends that you've heard about the treacherous and sly wolf and the evil werewolf begin to race through your mind. But what is this animal of our imagination truly like? Are wolves savage and destructive hunters of people and livestock? Or are they one of nature's most misunderstood creatures? Is it possible that people don't like wolves because they don't know very much about them? For example, there is no record of a healthy wolf ever trying to kill a human in North America. Perhaps by learning about the wolf and how it lives in the natural world, we can begin to tell the difference between the real animal and the fables we've created. Let me show you the picture on the second page before I read the text. Here's a picture of a wolf pack. Look how playful they are. And let me read the text. In many ways, wolves are like dogs and lions. Yet wolves have a bad reputation, unlike dogs and lions. Dogs are our best friends, but all the dogs in the world are descended from wolves that were domesticated more than 10,000 years ago. And most of the things people like about dogs are also true about wolves. Like dogs, wolves are very loyal to other wolves in their family. Wolves raised by people become loyal to those people as well. Dogs are friendly and intelligent and these traits are also found in wolves. Wolves in a pack are playful with one another. They are among the most intelligent animals in nature. Like lions, wolves are marvelous hunters that work in groups to catch their prey. Yet lions are called the kings of the jungle while wolves are described in many nursery tales as sly and cowardly. It seems strange that people love dogs and admire lions, but dislike wolves. And there's much more in this book on wolves, and I urge you to continue reading in it.